Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to this 100% walkthrough of LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga. Today we're going to be cleaning up Count Dooku on free play mode. We've got seven mini kits and a power brick to collect, so let's jump in. We'll select free play mode and we'll select Darth Vader again. Why not? Because he's one of the best characters on the game, so I don't care. <laughs> and also I love Darth Vader. I've actually been reading the Darth Vader comics, or the Star Wars Darth Vader comics, and they're very, very good. I would highly recommend them. But here we go. So first thing we want to do is, instead of chasing Count Dooku in there, we want to switch to a character with a gun. Um, this guy doesn't have it. So we use Django Fett to use the grapple and come up here and collect our first mini kit or mini kit number four. And then we'll head inside and follow, ja uh, follow Django, follow Count Dooku who we actually also have in our party for some reason. So these guys are going to come through. They're not really a problem. So we'll just cut our way through them like so. Into this room. Dooku's going to run away because he's a coward. So all the Geonosians are going to come in. Uh, we'll make a beeline for this power up and then just take them out like so. <clears throat> and then we want to move over to these platforms and things that we've got over here. So... We've got some buttons and things here, so we want to stand on them. And actually, I want to switch to my high jump character, who's General Grievous this time. So, Obi-Wan will get onto there. I'll jump up to the next one. Oops. Yeah, these buttons are a little bit hit and miss. Obi-Wan, you go up there. Press the button. And then we want to come up here. Ugh, nope. We want to come up here. Obi-Wan, please just get up there and press the button, man. <laughs> There we go. And now we want to go from this platform and high jump up there to get mini kit number five. Uh, there is another one similar to that in this room. So if we come over here, we have to do the same thing again. Oh, uh, no. <clears throat> go on, Obi-Wan. Up you go. He'll press the next button. There we go. And then we want to high jump up to this platform and then up to this one here to get mini kit number six. And of course, we wanted to be up there, didn't we? So... Let's head up here. Can we jump up to there? No. Uh, it doesn't matter. We'll go this way then. Up we go to here. We want to use the force on this to pull the levers. And that will open up the room where Count Dooku is waiting for us. So we'll head into here. To start the big showdown boss fight. But we're not actually interested in doing the boss fight just yet. So we'll let the little cutscene play. And then we'll head back towards the camera. Now, we want a character with a blaster. Uh, yeah, this guy will do. <coughs> Sorry, we want to shoot these two targets here. And pick up mini kit number seven. Then we want to head away from Count Dooku if we can. Over to here and change to General Grievous or your high jumping character. Jump on top of this ship. And then up here to mini kit number eight. Then come to the back of the room. And we want to use the force here on these to make a nice little tower. I'm going to grab this just in case it gets me. No, no. Dooku, go away. There we go, to make a nice little tower. Jump up onto the tower and change to Grievous again and get mini kit number nine. Now we want to switch to a character with a blaster to shoot all of this out of the way. And that will release our next mini kit, which you can see there. Uh, change to your astromech droid and fly across this gap to collect the final mini kit of the level. Now we want to head all the way to the right. Over here, ignoring Dooku still, and change to our bounty hunter, Django Fett. Throw a thermal detonator to blow all that stuff up. Uh, and then we want to switch to a character with the force. Use the force on this. Use the force on this. Really... Right, Dooku, come over here, please. Obi-Wan, if you could keep him busy, that would be great. Right, use the force on here quickly to make a hatch. Change to our small character, which is Wicket in this level. Let me through, let me through. <laughs> use your small character to go through the little hatch. And we'll run over here, change to a character with a grapple, uh, who again will be Django Fett. And that will land us up here to get our power bricks. And now, 
we can just focus on taking out Dooku using our normal strategy of using the slam attack thing. And then when he uses his electric, we'll switch character. No, he's going to chuck some stuff at us first. I forgot about that. When he chucks stuff at us, we'll use the force to throw it back. Or we'll try to. And accidentally hit Obi-Wan. Uh, no, he's got another one, has he? Take that, Dooku. Yeah, okay, another one. God. Right, okay, there we go. The third one's down. Hit him. Hit him again. Hit him again if you can. And now I believe he's going to do his electric in a minute. Is he going to do his electric? Yep, there we go. So we'll swap to Obi-Wan. Jump across and slap. I said slab? What's going on there? Wouldn't let me do it. Okay, we'll maybe just do a normal attack then. That didn't hurt him. What is going on? That's very strange. I don't seem to be able to hit him. That is odd. Um should be taking hits here, but he's not. The, the hearts are just not going down. Um, okay, maybe we'll just have to do it this way. There we go, that'll do, I suppose. So we unlocked the Force Pool Power Brick. We also got loads more studs for our stud total, which is excellent. We got the remaining seven mini kits to take our mini kit total up to max. Some more studs for doing that as well. And we get a gold brick for getting all of the mini kits as well. So let's head back to the cantina. We'll buy a couple of characters and we'll check our percentage complete stat. A nice easy level that one really. Quite a lot to collect but quite quick to do it all when you know where it all is so also the final one in Attack of the Clones. So next one we'll be moving on to Revenge of the Sith free play. And we've actually already done everything in the first level of Revenge of the Sith. So we won't be doing a free play of that I believe. Pretty sure we got everything in the battle over Coruscant but I can't really remember. Uh, yeah so we got everything on Attack of the Clones there, apart from those two gold bricks, but that's the same there. We'll get those gold bricks later in the playthrough. Whoops, sorry. So let's um, buy a couple of the characters, shall we? Uh, do you know what? Let's buy the ships. Let's buy the remaining ships. So we'll get the TIE Interceptor, Darth Vader's TIE Fighter, a TIE Bomber, and an Imperial Shuttle. So... Our percentage complete stat is now at 56.6% complete and that is going to do it for this episode. So, as always guys, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patron Arcades Games for all the support. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new or just haven't already done so. And I'll see you all next time.